Hello, social media friends. I'm Viridiana Marquez with DRB Media Communications Digital News, and Danny Barrera has the story. The Texas Air National Guard, in partnership with the Texas Department of Health and the Texas Division of Emergency Management, held a COVID-19 testing drive-through at the Hector County Coliseum in Barn C. The purpose of this one-day only event was to test as many residents as possible within the eight-hour time window. Ultimately, every different team that's out currently testing is recording those results and each patient gets their, their information within about seven days approximately. So they get that information back to them over the cell phone and uh, yes it is all being recorded, sent it up to the State Department. A spokesperson for the Texas Air National Guard emphasizes that the presence of the military team is a proactive way for the state and federal government to bring peace of mind to residents of Odessa and Hector County concerned with COVID-19. It's extremely important that that people see that their, their government's looking out for them, their state department's looking out for them. Uh, the, the supervision that, that the city provides is just wanting to give people a peace of mind, let them understand that we're doing everything we can to manage the situation that's at hand. The process of the drive through test takes approximately seven to eight minutes from check-in, testing, and exit. The results of the testing will take about five days. Down at the end of the day, law enforcement takes control of our test samples and they move them to a testing facility. As the city of Odessa and Hector County start the process of opening up the local economy, Governor Greg Abbott deployed several Texas Air National Guard teams to help counties with added support in COVID testing. You know, we got hit with a double whammy. We got hit with the oil prices going down and then COVID came in and hit our, our community. So, I mean, we got hit behind both knees. But Odessans are resilient, they are fighters, they are strong, and um, I believe that this, along with the testing that we'll continue to do uh, through the next couple of weeks, through the drive through that the community ha leaders have put together, I think it's just going to be positive as we roll 25% back out into occupancy, back into our community, and then with the governor's direction, that percentage is going to move up a little bit more, but I think as we get our numbers being positive and negative through our health department, those professional leaders along with physicians in our community will be able to help us give a sense of security and positive as we move forward. Hector County plans to continue the drive-through testing as long as the county sees a need for it and there's sufficient funding and monetary contributions from the community. For DRB Media Communications Digital News, Danny Barrera. Thank you for following us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Also at DannyVisionEntertainment.com. For DRB Media Communications Digital News, Viridiana Marquez.